Hi, welcome back. So, how to crochet a mug cozy? This you will learn today if you follow my tutorial. It's actually quite easy. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing so everyone can follow. And let's begin. For the materials, you will need some cotton yarn in a size 84 and a crochet hook size 3 millimeters. And you'll need some scissors and a tapestry needle. So to begin this, we start with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop and grab your yarn in the middle with your crochet hook. Then we will start chaining. So yarn over and pull through the loop on your needle. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. This is the foundation of our work and this is the chain that will measure around your mug. So my chain will be 26 centimeters long and I will need to chain up 63 chains for a mug that's 25 centimeters around. I already did, did <laughs> I already did mine. So I will just make a little sample size for you, but you just chain up 63 or 26 centimeters. I will begin working the first row. I will just chain up two extra. So I will begin working from the third chain. So this one on your hook never counts as a stitch or a chain. This is the first one. This is the second and this is the third. So we will do a half double crochet, yarn over, insert your needle in the third chain, grab the yarn, pull through one, you have three loops on the needle, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. All right, this is a half double crochet. Go search for the next stitch, this one, the next chain, and yarn over. Insert your needle in the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, yarn over. Insert your needle in the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we do one half double crochet all across. So one half double crochet in every chain all the way until you are at the very end of the chain. And then you'll begin working the other way for row two. I just made this little sample size, so I will quickly be done. And I will just show you how to do it. But you just pause the video and finish your chain. This is your final chain. This one. This one is your slip knot from the beginning. You will not be working into this one. This one is your final stitch. So yarn over and work your final half double crochet in the last chain before we turn the work. Each time we turn the work, we chain two. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through and turn your work. So for the second row, we will also be doing half double crochet, but we will only be working in the back loop. So we have these V's on top, and usually we will go down underneath both of these strands, but we will only be working in the back loop. So this is the back loop, and this is your front loop. So your front loop is the one that's closest to you and the back loop is the other one. So yarn over 
and then insert your needle in the third stitch but only in the back loop so go down through the legs between the legs of this v of the third stitch then grab the yarn and pull through and yarn over and pull through all three loops And again, yarn over for the next half double crochet. Insert your needle. Grab the yarn. Pull through. Yarn over. And pull through all three loops. For the next one, yarn over. Insert your needle in this back loop in between the legs of the V and do your half double crochet. So now you see this one is being pushed out a bit. This is also how you do ribbing. And that's because we're only working in the back loop. So this is the front loop lying out here. So we will continue doing one half double crochet in the back loop of every stitch until we are at the very end. And of course you have a bit longer way to go than me. So you just go ahead and pause the video and finish your row. I am done with mine already. So I will just show you how to turn yet again. And we have this last stitch just like before this one. This loop out here, that's not a real V, it's only the real Vs you see you are going into. So this one doesn't count. So yarn over, go into the back loop and finish with your half double crochet. And it's looking like this. You chain two. Remember to chain two every time you turn and then turn and then skip the chain two. That's how you make a straight edge. It's very important that you skip the many as you chain up. So you will only be working the real stitches. So skip the first two and work in the third stitch. Yarn over for a half double crochet again, only in the back loop. Insert your needle in the third stitch back loop and do your half double crochet and yarn over back loop, half double crochet, yarn over, back loop, half double crochet, and again you will push it out a bit. So we will continue this for every row until you have a piece that's fitting for your needs. And I have been continuing for nine centimeters. And we will now be sewing it together. So just weave in the end where you started and keep a long tail where you left it. And now attach your tapestry needle and grab the ends and make them so you face them. And grab them in between each other not all the way in, you see, just not all the way to the edge, but only halfway through. So it's only half of it that covers in the middle. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to be notified. And that's it. And then we will be sewing this together in the middle part, not in the gaps out here, but only in this middle part with all four layers. So just put in your needle through all four layers and pull through Then insert your needle. Make sure you got a piece of all four layers when you push in your needle. 
and just all the way to the other side. And especially out here, make sure you got all four layers. And I always do it once more on the way back, just to make sure. I really hate if it would untie. Unravel. And that's it. That's the first part of the sewing. Now we take these gaps and lead them together on top of this. So that's how. And you take your tapestry needle again and then you sew it together all the way around the edges of this. So all the way until the other side, just one edge to the other edge. Just all the way across and another way back twice like I did before. And when you got it all the way back and forth, we will just secure the ends by going back and forth three times, whoops, sorry, in the same stitch. And I am done with mine. So, snip the yarn. And turn it. And we have our mug cozy. So I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of tutorials all the time. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye!